Let's make a box plot in Google Sheets. In order to do that, I need to give Google Sheets these five pieces of information, including my variable name. And I'm gonna put this in a row. So I've got height first, and then my minimum. Let's type equals min for minimum, and then parenthesis. It guessed my data correctly. If it didn't for some reason, you can click, hold, and drag through your data to select it, and it shows up in that formula. I'm gonna hit enter for the minimum. Next, we need quartile one. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in equals and then quartile. This one's got two parameters. The first one is our data. So let's select that data by clicking, holding, and dragging. Then a comma followed by one, so it gives us the first quartile. Now I can hit enter. I'm gonna do something really similar for the third quartile. So equals quartile parenthesis, I'm gonna select that data and then comma three this time enter. And finally, we want that maximum value. So equals max parenthesis, and then select that data, enter. Now that I've got these pieces of information, I can select including the variable name, I can select all five of those cells and insert my charts. So I'm going to go insert and then I'm gonna choose charts. And it guessed the candlestick chart, which is great. If it didn't for some reason, you wanna go over here to the right-hand side on setup and then click the down arrow until you find candlestick chart. Now there's a couple of changes that I wanna make, including the title of this. Instead, I wanna call this box plot of heights. So box plot of heights. You'll also notice that there's an extra label here at the bottom. I'm gonna double click that one and then just delete it. To do even more customizing, you wanna make sure you've got that chart selected by clicking on it. And then you've got these three dots that you can click on. Choose edit chart. Over here on the right, you've got a lot of options to change both the setup and to customize the look of the chart. Now, I think that Excel and Desmos does a much better job with box plots. Take a look at the links down below in my description for tutorials on both of those. Thanks so much for watching.